back for another video for you guys and today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 battle class to heroes that I want bought for the game. Now this is strictly for the light side of the force, um, no dark side heroes will be mentioned um, in this video right now, but I will be making a separate video solely for the dark side heroes that I want. So I'm just going to shut up and get right into this. So at number 5, the number 5 hero that I want bought into this game would be Qui-Gon Jinn. Now, Qui-Gon, you wouldn't need a map to be brought in with him, since you already have Naboo and Tatooine. Um, that, I mean, that's just a bonus. I wouldn't have to worry about launching into the map. We could just get Qui-Gon and maybe another hero to go up against him, just to add more to the roster. Uh, Maul versus Qui-Gon Jinn is another very good reason. That would just be cool to have. Uh, he could definitely play as like some sort of support character, kind of like Yoda. Um, and maybe have some sort of buff ability that could like uh, increase the damage all of the troops around him deal or something like that to be a little more unique to the light side roster um, and then he would also have quite a few customization options he could wear his Jedi robes, his Tatooine poncho um, those are the only two that I can think of off the top of my head but yeah that would be just a really cool character to have Qui-Gon is definitely a fan favorite and this would please a lot of prequel fans or well, more so prequel fans, not so much Clone Wars fans, but they fall in the same category. Doesn't matter. This would make a lot of prequel fans happy to have Qui-Gon in the game. But he's at number 5 since there are definitely more heroes that I could want over Qui-Gon. So at number 4 would probably have to be Kanan Jarrus. He adds more Galactic Civil War content to the game for number 1. I know everyone wants Clone Wars and I want Clone Wars, but... We need a little diversity. It's Star Wars. Give us equal amounts of both. Um, he could play definitely more as like a tank sort of hero, and he could probably have an ability where he could swap out his lightsaber for a blaster, which would be super unique. Since we'd have a lightsaber blaster hero hybrid, or maybe there's an ability to where he could wield both at once. I don't know. That would just be that would be weird and mind-boggling like how that would work, but it would be very very cool. Also, we would have quite a few map options to launch with, those being Lothal, Adalon, Garel, and Malachor, and if you have no idea what planets those are, they are all in Star Wars Rebels. Lothal was, of course, Ezra and his apprentice's homeworld, and that's where he started the, his first rebel cell. Adalon was the base where Phoenix Squadron um, was uh, when they first established that base. Garel was a temporary base for the Rebels, uh, the Phoenix Squadron Rebels, and then Malachor was where the Sith Temple was that Kanan ends up becoming blind at. Which also brings me to the customization options. Uh, you get a Kanan with Stormtrooper armor, you can have him blind with his little mask piece, you can have him blind with the Jedi Temple Guard mask whenever he was first initially injured. Um, blind with no mask, and then you can have him with his short hair from uh, the last time we saw him before he died, and then, of course, maybe if we wanted to, you could give him a Force Ghost appearance, um, his Force Ghost appearance, I don't know, just something like that would be really, really cool, um, and yeah, Kanan is honestly the reason I kept watching Rebels, and he's a great character, and we definitely need to have to add to the roster. Number three, Nine Cup. Look, my number one reason for him is freaking Pancake Face, he should have been in the game at launch, but... Since I know a lot of fans have been asking for Battlefront 2015 maps to be ported over, this would be a cool hero to have brought back from 2015 to go along with all of those maps. All they would have to do is just port over his abilities, um, his look. It, it, it just wouldn't be hard to do at all. It would be very easy, and a lot of fans would be happy to have pancake face. Also, the emotes of him laughing would be spammed so much. It would be freaking glorious. Like, that would just be another meme for the Battlefront community to be eat up. Um, although he doesn't have that much customization, the only ones I can think of off the top of my head are him in, like, a Rebel pilot suit. And that's, that's just pretty much it. So, the number two hero that I have on my list would be Padme Amidala. This is another hero a lot of fans have been requesting. Um, it would give Anakin a reason to have an I don't like Sandy mode. That would, it would just be freaking... If all of a sudden, Padme and Anakin were standing around, and Anakin just says, I don't like sand, it's gore, it's rough, and it gets everywhere, but not like you, you're everything's new and soft. 
you know how big of a meme that would be. It's already a gigantic meme from episode two, but that would just that that would be amazing. I would give Dice huge props if they gave that if they made that a thing. Where if Anakin saw Padme, that's the first thing he says. I would lose my mind. Like all of a sudden you're in the middle of a battle as a clone trooper, and all of a sudden you hear Anakin go off with the I don't like stand line. That would be hilarious. Um, and then, like Qui-Gon, she wouldn't need a map to go with him, because we already have Naboo. Um, and then, she could have some also really cool customization. She could be in her queen robes like she was in episode one, a handmaiden robes like she was in episode one, and then of course, the Geonosis outfit. Ooh, what, ooh. Anyways, the number one hero choice that I have, definitely, um, and I think this is the hero that we're most likely gonna get, is Ahsoka Tano. Now, my reasoning that we're gonna get Ahsoka is, it, it's quite simple. She's a fan favorite. This is most likely the hero that fits the thing after Anakin. She has a very unique fighting style. That would just bring a lot more to the game. Uh, she could definitely act as more of a quickly get in, kill some units, and get out to the hero. Kind of like how you play Dark Maul and Weapons yourself. She's an obvious fan favorite. And there are so many customization options for her. Not as much as you could do for painting, but there's quite a few. Slave out with Ahsoka, Ahsoka and Rebels, Ahsoka at the start of the Clone Wars with a single lightsaber, and then Ahsoka in Clone Wars Season 7. I know they had a different appearance for her. Um, and they can also bring in her Clone Trooper unit as another option for customization. And the maps that we could get with her could be Mandalore, they could bring in Coruscant, um, uh, crap, uh, the planet Tef that was in the Clone Wars animated movie, they could bring in Christosis. There's just so much they can do um, with Ahsoka. But she's a fan favorite, and that's probably the number one reason that I would say if this game needs to just be about giving the fans what they want. Particularly Battlefront. Well, at least, yeah, this, this just needs to be about giving the fans what they want. DICE completely screwed us over with the microtransaction thing, and it definitely hurt the game. So the way they should have been is just the giving back to the fans. That's all this game should have been, and this would be a great way of doing it by bringing in at least one or two of these heroes. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on what heroes should be brought in Battlefront 2. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Comment down below what hero you want in the game. I'm very curious what heroes you guys would like. Um, drop a like if you did enjoy this video, and why not subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos like this one. Anyways, guys, I'm Dylan here, signing out. Bye-bye.